them a full time. All right, well, that's a different hero. hero. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, CCC playing it the right way there, just trying to harass him down and, and force out as much regen as he can, so that he's to focus on his HP and not his mana pool for Koifa. Uh, and then it, it could end up being a real bottle uh -oh. where he's gonna maybe get the solo kill mid. Uh oh, CC and C, he's on the aggressive and he finds it. So glad we were tunneled on that mid lane there. Kit wow. <laughs> and then back down to the bottom lane, Snaking, who is also in trouble. He's trying to intercept the creep pull from Insania. Madara doing just fine down bottom, and now we'll actually see initiation. MSS goes rolling forward, and Sania stunned up by the hoofstomp, and they should have the damage here. That's going to be a dead venge. Now, elsewhere on the map, Taiga found a kill on the kit track up top two of the bolas, I would assume. All right, we'll keep an eye on that build. Down bottom, forward, continuing to put on the pressure. Madara may be the one that's in trouble. Snake King does have a hoof stomp available, just needs to find it. Only connects on the venge. Madara finding a pretty good spot in the trees. Who's actually going to win this fight, though? Snake King gets stunned up again, returning a decent amount of damage. MSS trying to commit for this, but body blocks from Insania, making it difficult. Now MSS is going to be the one that's in trouble. Frost Arrow's slowing him down, trying to make the exodus, but it won't happen as Magic Missile flies, and MSS goes down. So Five-minute runes, stun up top. Taiga going to grab that one. And now maybe a race to the next. The Boxy potentially in trouble, but Taiga blocks the roll, and Boxy will be able to pick it up, salves up. Maybe they turn on to MSS. Taiga does have some mangoes. Burrow Strike available. Connects only on the Oracle, but follow-up arrows there. Metamorphosis from Yuar. Can they turn? Kit Track's already fallen. MSS couldn't get the arrow save in time. He tried to body block it, and he's going to eat a lot of right clicks because of it. Knocks him back. Taiga. CCC's down here, though. He's looking for a kill. Yeah, looking for a setup. He gets Bolas on two. Remnants forward, and they're going to lose two on the side of Alliance. But be in some trouble. They're starting to collapse. Does have the leaps available, but the fiery Bolas locking him in place. Snake King on the way. Not going to be close enough for a hoof stomp. Oh, the arrow misses. Nice slight there. Yeah, another good use of the Stampede. Make sure the Ember Spirit will be just fine. Posturing like they want to make a turn, but going to be difficult. Magic Missile will connect. Zeus drops the ult. They'll go one for one. Mid Moonlight just came up. Boxy on the run. Snake King does not have detection. Kit Track does have sentries. Arrow will connect, though. Not going to stop Snake King from finding the kill, as now Epicenter comes from the Sand King. Can he turn this around? The damage just isn't there, Trent. Oh, he just got level 6 on the Oracle, too. Perfect timing. Kit Track will not be able to survive, but Snake King. You wish I never yeah, he'll be all right. He good. You know, the one on top, you know, we talked about him, but uh -oh. there it is. Silence onto CC and C, but it's not going to matter. Madara just too far forward. The Stampede makes it an easy initiation, and now Taigo will be in some trouble. And Sania with a swap, trying to save his Sand King friend, but will it be enough? Ooh, Magnetize. He, he swaps again, though. Taking Maybe him he down can low. Live too? No. I mean, at least he's got an XP talent, but it's going to be rough. Dude, we'll see initiation mid. Snake King charging forward. Swap from Insania might save Madara, but there's huge follow up damage. Madara is actually going to be the first victim. An alliance running out of gas as Taiga goes down next. Insania with no escape. Kit Track might fall, but no, just enough HP will survive, and they're not done yet. They're hunting for more. The Stampede was saved, and they'll find Boxy. They've got the gap closer, and just like that, four. Yeah. For sure. Uh, even though I was a little critical about uh, this Vanguard first on Snake King, who has also picked up the Blink Dagger now, I like the way they're itemizing elsewise. Drums on the Ember, drums on the Terra Blade, going for these these beefy items early on. Mid lane will see CC and C get gone on, but he's got some friends nearby. He might even survive through this. Alliance once again running out of gas. This Magnetize doing so much. Foxy just able to get away, and Snake King will end up falling. Forward, smoked up, pressing forward. They find Madara. Moonlight Shadow was used pretty early. They should have some detection. Madara trying to survive, and down goes the Aegis. Arrow hits the BKB Yawar, so he'll be just fine as Insania goes down. Madara coming back to life, and that Aegis advantage going to be gone. And these kills have added up. They've delayed this BKB pretty effectively, and she's still about halfway there. Doesn't want to fight until that gets completed. They will get a stun onto Snake King with an arrow. But there is some counter initiation. The Magnetize has come out. There's the Stampede, ultimate from Zeus, but forward are sustaining for now. They're going to commit forward onto the Venge. Sand King also getting low. He'll fall next, and the rest of Alliance have to retreat. Foxy not going to make it out. Feels like things are starting to tumble here for Alliance. CC and C just goes charging forward. There's that BKB from Madara, freshly picked up and debuted. Forced to use it, but I think forward are kind of okay with it. They'll just back out, get a little chip damage on the tower, and now that BKB is going to be done. They do get an aggressive swap onto Yuar. Very ambitious, because Oracle's there with a the save, and he has BKB. That was a buyback, an instant death from Insania. Out of the game now for 60 seconds. And they back away perfectly oh, wow. in time. They read him like a book, and now Taiga going to get stunned up. 
and absolutely obliterated. Madara needs to be so careful here. Remember, he does not have that BKB for 30. Buyback from the Sand King. Dyer with vision on the high ground. That ward helping them out so much in this scenario, but they finally overcommit. And Alliance erupt with a furious momentum and find one, maybe even two. Make it three. So they'll smoke up themselves they, at their they shrine. right on a ward, though. They don't have Zeusalt. This could be a problem in this fight. Going to limit some of their damage. Roche falling pretty quickly, but they're going to jump in just in time. Yawar will still grab the Aegis. Kitrak gets hit by an arrow and gets brought down. Taiga with the ultimate doesn't do that much damage, but MSS stuck on the other side of the pit. They trade two for one, buy back on the Oracle, and now Stampede, they want more. Snake King gets a stun, but Insania swaps to save Madara. He'll pop the BKB, so will oh, Boxy. Nice promise. But Boxy does not stand his ground, and Madara will not be able to TP out. The Invis is available again in 15 seconds for themselves Snake by the King Moonlight Shadow. not who they want to find, and they'll see this double damage room oh picked God. up by Yuar. This is not the time to fight, or is it? They still want to go in, follow up arrow. They might have the burst, but no, Oracle's there. That's the reset. BKB's oh on, God. and Alliance are just getting smashed. Boxy he died in the blink of an eye and Senia shortly after Madara tries to TP him with a double damage rune. That will not happen. BKB won't save him and three dead. Alliance take a big tumble. They do not have any buybacks on these dead heroes and Taiga will also fall. His buyback is available. Up to the high ground we go. So begins the potential final engagement. And they kill that tier three so easily. Swap in though, Yawar, is he ready for this? Yes he is, BKB's on, Stampede forward. Alliance hang on though, they do lose Insania. The Drow Ranger still living in the back line. Buyback now from Insania. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, Alliance is definitely known for hanging on, even if there's a 1% chance, they're gonna fight till the bitter end. Roll the dice at that 1%. Taiga looking for a stun, can't find it, but does force an early BKB out of CC and C. C forward thinking about initiating off the back of this, and CC does go in pretty deep. He's got the Arcane Rune on. Maybe encouraging that aggression. They finish off the ranged barracks. Still a glyph available for the Radiant. Yawar, again, this false promise is there. This Oracle is having so much impact in these fights. Taiga channels the ultimate. They've got some magic damage. They'll bring down Snake King, but Yawar is just tanking it right now. And don't forget, he's got the Aegis. He's going to go down. He'll come back. He's got the Refresher Shard. He's going to have another meta and BKB in just a matter of seconds. Swap from Insania. Do they have the damage? They don't. He gets it off. There's the Sunder, and now Alliance are in big trouble. Boxy's in the grave without a buyback. They are going to bring down the Ember Spirit, but Alliance just cannot sustain this. They're going to lose two more. Buyback available on the Sand King. He uses it straight away. They actually do still have this Glyph, so maybe they can hold on, but Taiga jumps pretty far out of the base, and they jump right back in. Yawar does finally fall. Without that Sunder cooldown, he can't reset, but Madara in the tree. Trees, nowhere to go. CC does finish him off after his own buyback. It's a sloppy, chaotic yeah, there fight. We go. But Alliance are going to start to hold, or are holding, and are starting to clean this up. Can they find more? And now they look to initiate another double damage rune up on UR. He's also popped a moon shard. Insania just gets obliterated. Taiga trying to defensively burrow strike. It might keep him alive. They don't have vision. They no have detection. the gem on MSS, and he's chasing the drow. Okay. Hey, sometimes it, cores okay. are in a, a better position to pop it. Of course, they really know item slots at this point. So at this point, you can kind of blame the support. That's also but a I was fair trying point. to be a little bit kind. That's right, 51 minutes, you're right. They're, they're all fairly slotted. A lot of damage on the melee barracks. Still no glyph for a minute 40. Now, forward can sort of slow siege this with the Terror Blade. Yeah, he's running, you know, a little low on meta there. Half duration yeah. left. There Nothing slow about it. The Megas have been secured. Forward trying to retreat. Boxy actually chasing out, but reinitiation from CC and C and Boxy uh, just destroyed. Buyback. MSS not done with him yet either with that Yule Scepter. They want to get Taiga. <laughs> but his teammates are done with him apparently. Because MSS is the BKB out of there. He's oh, fine. Spooky there. I mean, he's got his BKB, but you don't want to see it wasted like that. No, I think Forward feeling okay too as their buybacks are coming back. CC and C jumps in, forces a swap. And now Insania could be in some trouble. Snaking, oh, super here we go. beefy. But he's going down quick. That's the Tesla Drow. It's getting some damage in here. It really is. False Promise has to come out onto the Centaur. And Senio with a swap may pay with his life. Just barely you able to live. But you are. He's holding for now. That's going to be the Aegis down. He's got a refresher and he's going to need it. Does not have BKB or meta until he pops it. Hold the line. 
Another initiation from Snaking as he reach ends up, but this draw on the back line actually hurts so much. CCNC trying to come back in, but forward having trouble taking this fight. Alliance still with all five alive. They've the got creeps to focus on are the creeps, doing some though. work though. You're absolutely right. No tier fours left. There's you are with the refresher. Has the meta. Has the BKB. Drops Taiga. His buyback. His response. They've or come back. Out of here, I think. I think so too. Yawar's buyback is on its way. Drops a decent meta, and uh -oh. now Taiga, the tables have turned. He's gonna go down, die back there. Boxy in some trouble, but able to make it back for now. Still taunting as he does survive. Creeps doing serious damage though. The throne taking huge damage forward. Just need to distract them, and the creeps could maybe do the work. They're gonna focus on it. There is a glyph still standing. Alliance holding on with every last breath as Insania finally falls. GG is called and forward. Find the win. 56 minutes into this game. Okay. Weren't they, did they ran? No, I'm just kidding. Whoa, they do it. All right. This is the first right. one we've seen this mid. This time it's MSS. He will connect with a stun, and Willow might get punished. He has Bramble Maze level one, so no Shadow Realm, and down she goes. I expect nothing less. CCNZ rotating to the bottom lane, though, is uh, we've got Boxy under the tower looking for the triple raise play. Could be a big kill, but he also oh, gets a no. big taunt, and CCNC uh -oh. bites off more than he can chew. Oh, Snake oh, King. Oh. Oh. CCNC, he's doing the dance, getting through those brambles, but first crown. Now they're going to steal his damage. Boxy will come in with a Berserker's Call, and this should be a pretty easy dunk. Down he goes. I don't know, guys. It's a dangerous kill to go for. They don't even use the Vendetta damage. With the stun, the follow-up Maledict. In comes Snake King. Does pop the Stampede for this, but gets taunted. CC's here. He's got some damage, but it's still not enough. Terrorize from the Willow on the backside breaks this up. They're going to try to finish off the Centaur. They find it. Now Cursed Crown onto CC and C. The Bedlam is more than enough with the help of the Razor. Forward on the back foot and could even lose more. Kit Track. Oh, well, they're going to bring him in. Yep. Sentry Ward down. MSS maybe going to be the one to initiate. This is a risky dive. Runs through the Life Stealer. Now four heroes of Alliance. They're going to turn back the other way. It's MSS that gets caught, but CC and C channels the ultimate. It goes off this time. Troll gets feared as he tries to charge forward. A lot of damage coming in. They'll bring down the Willow. It's a one for one. Not too bad for forward. Alliance seem indecisive here. Can't decide if they want to commit or back out. Trying to heal up Boxy. Um, th this is like a lineup where you're kind of hoping for a four team, but woo. Here we go, nice set up onto Koikpa. They get him down pretty low, but can they finish him off? Nice three hero stomp from Snake King. The BKB gets used. He also gets the False Promise. Yule Scepter onto the Shadow Fiend. They bring down MSS, and now CCNC on the run and just can't do anything at all. The mech not even close to enough. But Alliance are at a point where there's no need to really hide the rotation. Sure, they're smoking up trying to find a kill, but uh, in the end, like, they just grab your wire on the side of this wave here. They or have will to stampede they? him out to safety. And he bumps into a Bramble. Yawar might not be good after all. He's got ulti. Can perhaps turn it around. Yep, Curse Crown's gone, but CC and C dies to Boxy elsewhere. They're going to try to turn onto the Life Stealer. Oh, they almost had him too. Willow with the Terrorize turns it back the other way, and now they're going to get a double. Yawar falls, and Snake King will have no way to stop Beautiful. the crown. Right? He's, on the list. He's one of the heroes that can buy Meteor Except Hammer. Except Meteor Hammer hero. It's there. Uh oh, mid lane. Now they grab the Troll Warlord again. Yawar trying to sustain, but I think in a lot of trouble here. He'll be the first one to fall in this fight. Snake King jumps in but gets Yule's up and CC and C now forced to back up, but he is taking so much damage. Survives at about 100 HP. Madara in pretty far, but hey, they've got false promise. But forward, not really positioned to try to mount much of a defense. Yeah, it just feels like too much. I mean, he still has, uh, yeah. I mean, there is a point where you're just too far behind to be able to sustain it all in these fights. Tier three down, Barracks now exposed. Boxy catches another great Berserker's call onto the troll. Terrorize, breaks it up for forward. They'll have no way to save Yawar. Look at this ulti just going to work from Koikva, too. Back into the Radiant base, still trying to bring down this tower. Madara oh, does have that King. Aegis of the Immortal. Up top, uh-oh, Boxy finds that solo kill. Now buyback onto Snake King. Forward will hold that top lane of Barracks and maybe even push out further. CC and C maybe stunned up. False Promise again comes out. Willow trying to TP, but interrupted by the stun. Taiga might still live here, but we'll see. BKB popped by Koikva, comes in onto CC and C. This Shadow Fiend just has nowhere to go. They're running him down. The Death Requiem does nothing, and the GG is called. 28 minutes. It is Alliance all day. 4 to 31. One of the more one sided matches we've seen this tournament. You don't make it out of the lightning phase, we'll lose. They take the Quap instead. Okay. Top in the charts in terms of last hits. Although pressure onto Insania, gonna be tough to find the kill, but Kit Track's got it. That level two purifying flames. And you're getting slightly more CS in the lanes, I suppose, the top and bottom. 
Warflame still struggling, only 22 last hits compared to the 32 of the Prophet. And Taiga, he's gonna yeah. go down. He's like, yeah, yeah that was there pretty good. There you go, there you go. <laughs> I'll give him that That's one. an appropriate use of tipping right there. Madara here in the mid lane, caught up by some Sprout. A lot of heroes on the way. They might not have the damage to kill this morph, but they're putting some pressure on. Primal Spring flies over. A lot of damage onto this tower, but it's the Doom that's the target they've really focused on. Queen of Pain drops the old onto the backside. Rotations and in terms of the matchup, more so the matchup this game than last. There we go, mid lane, some setup onto the Oracle. They'll find that kill, but maybe they can get something back the other way. Boxy looking to split, but they need the damage. He gets the split off with just a little bit to go. Doom pops the ulti oh, onto Koika. CCNC. The Koikster's here. He's trying to make it happen. Drops the ult and it finds the kill. Two down on the side of forward. Taiga now in the fray, but it's Yawar that goes down next. A triple kill for Koikva. MSS on the run, he's been dusted up. There's the Hex. Follow up from Boxy. Yeah, he is gonna go back another. into the Panda form. It's a four for nil. Another sweep for Alliance. Out the uh, bottom. 15 town for Madara means he should be able to help engage, but uh, it's not going to be much of a fight here. They'll find silence brew. Boxy, but he will live through the soul burn. Not going to have enough for the ultimate. He does. 50 HP. Boxy gets the reset. Does he have any help nearby, though? Can he even survive through this? Throws the Oracle up in the air. Seems fairly committed. Koikba comes in, drops a pretty big ultimate. And now they're just trying to get Boxy out to survival, and I don't know that this is going to work so well. You oh, are in the perfect he, he position. Oh, he gets stunned up, but CC and C still there with the Primal Spring, and they do bring him down, but Boxy makes him work for it with another impressive ultimate. Ah, they're going to uh, push forward, though, and Snaking going to find himself a Doom and nice set stun. up the stun. Yeah, Three I, down. I even though they were all inside. I so. don't know if they can actually get here in time, though. Roche falling so quickly. Oh, my God, they missed both stuns of the Doom. <laughs> wow, that is... Uh, Pretty unfortunate. Now they're going to try to commit for this. Madara charging up top. Double damage still has a couple seconds left. Snaking in some trouble. Survives for now. Koikba jumps in onto Kit Track. He's going to get dropped. Oh, what a sonic wave. It does connect on the low ground. Follow up finger. Snaking. Enemy jungle. Forward. Sustaining for now. There's the Monkey King ultimate. They're going to TP to the shrine and pop it straight away. But Taiga will be the first victim. Alliance now splitting up, trying to retreat. They'll lose Insania next. Boxy still standing his ground. His friends nowhere to be found. Running out of duration on this ultimate split. Goes back into Panda form, and now maybe they'll try to turn. Madara's here, and he wants to go. They'll go in onto Kit Track. They force out the False Promise, but might still pop. Now they focus their forces onto MSS. He's going to survive for now. Maybe they can still get this troll. Quap jumps up to the high ground, laying into CCNC. Finds the kill there. MSS with another stun will limp back to his high ground. A very spread out, chaotic fight. It's Man. a two for one, though, favoring forward. 3v5, though, Alliance take that fight. Like, losing the line of the Doom so early, and then they, go, man, they just keep it up. Koifa just trying to figure out his right moment. I mean, this is a nine second BKB. He is ready to fight, but they gotta get that troll. Oh, nice Sonic Wave. Does a lot of damage. I don't know. But they're gonna start healing back up, though. Maybe it's just not pumping enough. them out. They'll grab the melee barracks, and now forward trying to back up. MSS might be the one left behind. Kit Track doing what he can, but won't be enough. Yeah, they don't have the Bruce split anymore. Snaking? You crazy. They try to back out. The Doom may be the one that gets caught, but now he drops the ultimate onto the troll. They're just going to try to turn onto Taiga, but Boxy deep in this front line goes onto MSS. Now they're focusing down the Monkey King. He was actually sustaining a bit longer than planned. The BKB used by Snake King is Boxy is just getting destroyed by Yawar. It's all these little fights at once, but it's forward that are coming out ahead. Madara with a TP, and he makes it. Kind of rich at this point out of the support position. But yeah, meanwhile, been a little rough fight here in the mid. They're going to go in onto Madara, but Doom jumps forward. Now CC and C joining the party. They've got the Orchid onto Madara, but it's not going to be enough damage. All these BKBs being popped. Still no one dead. Looks like forward are starting to back up just a little bit. But in the front lines, they've got Snaking, and he's in trouble. That's going to be a finger and a kill for Koikba. Yeah, Boxy just driving everyone else back as they take down Snaking. Good play there. And uh, the morph into the Nature's Prophet for the second health bar. And they're going to keep chasing now with the AoE Shadow Strike. Yeah, but out comes the Wukong's command. They're oh, going to find Koi the Queen of Pain. No. Koikpa goes down. Kit no Track chance. also goes down as he gets crit by Boxy. Yawar also low. Madara might be the king of the castle to clean oh, this up. Carapace. But can he do it? The stun slows him down. Taiga here with the fiery sword. It's not looking good for forward. Four down. No buybacks available here, Trenton. They're definitely going to get this Nyx. It's a one for five. Ten second charge. It's on the way on the courier. But Boxy is going to jump into the pit. They're killing this Roche so quickly. 
Wukong's command comes down. Boxy dying fast. This time he doesn't get off the split. Taiga's gonna go down as well. That's two heroes of Alliance dead. Uh -oh. Roche goes the way of the Dyer, and they get Aegis and Cheese. Um, but you need to like blink Orchid the uh, the Oracle and then try and sight the uh, troll. They're gonna go on to Madara, but he pops the BKB. They kill CC and C. He does not have buyback. No Monkey King for 70. Snake King pops his BKB against Boxy, but he is not winning this duel. It actually forces out a false promise from Kitrak. They almost lose Taiga, but he stays alive. And this Troll Warlord low and in trouble. Yawar's down, no buyback on him either. They do lose the Brew before ultimate, but yeah. this should be the end. GG gets called, and there it is. Alliance finally able to do it after securing Mega Creeps. Small gold lead, but a W nonetheless as they secure the series.